What's up, y'all? My name is Brody, and welcome back to Icarus. Today, we are building the greenhouse, baby. We're going to get right into it here. Uh, I have glass cooking right now, uh, but while that's cooking, let's go set down these bases I have. Uh, they're the foundation for the stones. There they are right there. All right. So, this is where I want to put it, right where the old house was, uh, like we talked about in previous episodes. Um, I don't want it this low though, so that's not gonna work. Mm hmm. All right. Well, maybe we can do something like this. We'll just go up the hill here and uh, start it off of there. That'll work. So it that gets a little bit more of an elevation, and we can expand on it later if we need to. Right about there should work. Okay. There you go. Boom, boom. All right. Oh, of course. Last second, it snaps out. <laughs> I don't have anything to demolish it either. You got to go get a different building piece. But um, we're going to put refined wood flooring on top anyways to make it look snazzy. Because it has little weird divots in it. If you look, it doesn't have like a finished floor on top. Um, which is what you're supposed to do. That's why it's just a foundation. So let's go get uh, the finished floor going here. And I'll grab those pieces so that we can demolish that and put that back in the spot while that glass is still cooking. Because, of course, it takes a while. All right. So I got them pieces going. But I was just thinking it says right on them uh, that they need to be protected from the weather. So I don't know if putting these down while we don't have anything covering it is... Uh, a smart decision so let's just go put this block or this uh, sorry the foundation back where it belongs so there it is uh that's all good to go um while that glass is finishing up i did want to show you guys something um in the glass maker device table deal here if you hook up water it says at the bottom if you hook up water it will make them the reinforced glass pieces. But look how much glass I have prepped in there. The, the epoxy, the glass, and the iron to make this. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so let's hook up some water. So that we can get the reinforced glass pieces. Uh, here we go. We got... The water pump, I got everything prepped for that. We need a bunch of steel, electronics, concrete, and screws. It's kind of expensive. Then you move over to the water pipe, and then for some reason, the water pipe needs gold. It's copper, gold, and carbon fiber, which kind of sucks because it's not super expensive, especially later game, as I have a bunch of that stuff. Uh, but I'm working my way towards composites. So it's getting in the way a little bit of the composite situation. Uh, as you can see, it takes some fiber, titanium, a bunch of electronics, and aluminum, which aluminum isn't bad. But let's go ahead and make this stuff. And we can start setting up water. This is uh, the first time I've had water, but it does need power, I believe. I was going to go put it over here by the greenhouse. But since it's going to need power, it probably makes more sense to run it over back. Hmm. Yeah, see, it needs a thousand power. So I'll probably go put it back on the other side closer to where the power line's coming in at. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier to hook up. And then I can run it through the house anyway. So let's go put it right about there. That looks pretty dang on good. We can just come tie into the power. After I grab the electricity tool here. Electrical tool, whatever you want to call it. The cord, the extension cord. There we go. Grab the water tool too. We could just hook it up right on this junction block. Right about there. That one should work. 
Now, hopefully this doesn't interrupt anything in the house. It shouldn't. I've, I think I've had some issues in the past, but I, after further examination, there we go. Uh, when you're hooking up, you just got to make sure you're actually clicking on the block. But we got power. Now let's hook up some water. Get this thing starting to pump. There we go. We're running up the side of the house here. Right there. And I think it's right about there on the inside. So I don't know. Yeah, that should work right there. And there we go. We got water. Oh, yeah. All right. So now we should be able to make reinforced walls. Sorry, glass walls. Look at it. Oh, you also notice there too. They're glowing in a, like a yellow gold. Awesome. 50 res wind resistant, 400 maximum health, reinforced glass. Outstanding. I wish it made it a little bit cheaper, but I like that it's strong. I think we need about 10 of those. Craft those up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's even got a glow to it like a forge. That's awesome. That's a cool detail. Oh, we probably should add those on the corners, but let's build the roof for first. We need six. Oh, we got enough for four, but don't worry. I was on top of it. I got glass cooking. <laughs> Oop, drop my tool. Come on. All right. Okay, there's the glass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not 76, we just need six. There we go. I need these corner posts, but I don't think I have enough to make four. I think it's epoxy. Yeah, see, I don't have enough epoxy. Do I have enough? To yep, I got enough to make a door. So we should just go ahead and make that door. And I can go get the epoxy ready and bring it back. Okay, so I got everything built. Let's go ahead and uh, grab these. Glass roof, door, walls, angles, and the beam. With glass to spare, even. <laughs> Alright, I have the interior wood floors. We'll get these all set up on the hot bar here. So it's all quick and easy. Uh, to go put it together. There we go. I think we got it all. Well, let's grab the water pipe tool too. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and I also got these iron crop plots that I built. They're nice because you can hook up water to them. Um, they're a little bit less as good as these hydroponic crop plots um, that you hook up power and water to, but they need composites and I'm just not... Uh, not quite there yet um but we will be eventually so let's go put this place together start with the walls this is my first greenhouse so i'm excited to do this uh, i'm also nervous because i know how expensive these are here we go get the other side going sweet all right let's get a door here oh look at all those options uh, it's not really any different than uh, than the regular walls. It just looks different because it's glass. Let's get these corner posts. Ooh, I should probably put something underneath them, but I'm not going to put these glass posts on. Because they're expensive. Well, uh, just build some stone. Stone. Freaking, uh, what you call it? Corner post. <laughs> Or beams, that's what they're called. Corner beams. So before I put the roof on it, I want to go do that. Just in case um, anything happens. I don't want it falling apart. And look at that. I have everything prepped to make four. Awesome. Okay. Alright, I got the corner post built. Let's go ahead and throw those on underneath these glass posts. Just so it gives it that extra... Support. Boom. Beautiful. Looking strong. Now she's ready for the roof. This part always makes me nervous. There we go. All six. Now we get the angled walls. 
Other side, and we'll flip it. Oh, wrong way. There you go. All right, look at that. Let's get the interior floor going. Make sure it's, excuse me, facing all the same way because that's what I didn't do on the inside and it drives me nuts every day that I look at it. There we go and flip it. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Let's get this door on there. Boom. We got ourselves a greenhouse. Let's go put these uh, iron crop pots down. So yeah, look at that. What the hell? I thought they were bigger than that, like the other ones. That's what I was thinking for. But you can just line them up, I guess. Doesn't really take too much space in. Oh, pretty slick. All right, so now we just need to hook up water to them. Yeah, see, I thought they were a lot as big as those other ones, but maybe it's just an eye game. I don't know. Weird. All right, let's grab that water tool and we'll go. Uh... Oh, before I get the water tool, let's grab this wood composter. I was going to put that inside the greenhouse because I really don't have anywhere for it in the house. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right about there. That will work. Nice. Kind of look backwards for a second there. Well, that way we can have fertilizer in there and it's nice, nice and convenient, especially if any of these, uh, anything withers inside here. I'll just throw it in here. We'll split these up between the four of them. There you go. Odd number. So one will have a little less, but that's not a big deal. There you go. Now it's fertilized. It's got plus 50 for a modifier on it. That must be the greenhouse modifier. See what it is. Hmm. All right, let's go hook up some water. Get the tie in to probably this one right there. Make it look kind of nice. Wouldn't be too bad. Hopefully it doesn't get too close to that pole there for electricity. <laughs> that wouldn't be good, right? Should be insulated. Let's go ahead and set this up. Maybe have one block for each one. Hmm. I'll just try it. Kind of disappeared on me a little bit. Can I get it through the wall? highlighting it nope guess not <laughs> that'd be cool oh I better go select that again bring it inside click it on there what the hell no water no water it's connected with no water no flow huh I wonder if it's something to do with the fact that I hooked it up in a weird spot. Oh, pumps on. It's pumping. It's got electricity. You can hear it. Maybe that thing is sucking all the juice from it. <laughs> the glass table in there. Let's go check it out. Maybe it's all these weird little... Junction's out here. Uh, it's not working for that one either. Weird. Let's take this back. And we'll just go off of one line just for a test here. Same thing. Must be back here. <laughs> this issue must be back here. Uh, maybe it wasn't that. It doesn't look like it was connected. <laughs> Whoops. Let's redo this little area. Make it a little bit cleaner. So you can see it. There we go. 
Might as well just hook this up too while I'm here because I don't think that was the issue. Go check that out. That should do it, hopefully. There it is. We got water. All right, let's hook up these other ones. There's three. And we'll get this last one in there. There we go. All four, we got water. We got the modifier. Outstanding. Now we're ready. Oh, I wonder if it changes the modifier when the door is closed. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized greenhouse. I don't think that uh, size matters on that, but there it is. There we got a greenhouse. Now we just need to plant something in it. <laughs> and I'm pretty much out of everything but coffee. I want to grow some coffee, but my animals are pretty hungry and I need some corn. And it looks like I don't have any corn or anything <laughs> or carrots and everything that's in there. I think they ate. Yeah, just berries and I'm not going to grow berries. So I'm going to go out and grab some corn. All right, I got some corn. Now let's get this stuff planted here. There we go. There's one. Two. Three and four. Now, I had a lot of beds over here, but and they just seemed like a lot bigger and they took up a lot more space, but I had to plant each individual one and then I had to water it by hand. And uh, I just hope that this is worth it. I mean, I got automatic water now. And let's see, with the fertilizer and all the buffs, does it really look like it's moving that fast? supposed to be plus 15 growth speed and yield plus that is supposed to make it go faster too hmm well we'll see the crops are being automatically watered so that's i mean that's a huge plus right there so but we'll see if it's worth it this is a lot of resources and and um a lot of time i guess in the gathering the resources but this is nice to have right next to it too so when it withers we can put the spoiled plants in here and get that fertilizer it's just a basic fertilizer but there you go does that say alterations you mean alterations I say al yeah it says alterations i was reading it weird huh well anyways we got ourselves a greenhouse, but just remember when you guys are using the, the glass table thingy right here is that you hook up water to it so you guys can get that reinforcement bonus, which is plus 50% wind resistance and and all that stuff. And you just have to have that water hook up with a long extension cord all the way to the power line over there off the, the water wheel and get that uh, water pump running. Anyways, I'll be back when uh, the crops are all grown up. We'll see uh, what kind of yield it gets us and um, we'll see if this was really uh, a worth it greenhouse <laughs> being that it's so expensive. I'll be back. All right, well, while this uh, corn is growing, I wanted to show you guys one thing here. I randomly the building shut off the lights went out i was like what the hell is going on no way did i break the water wheel or something attack the water wheel so i came over here it wasn't spinning and you could press e to interact on it i didn't know that and i guess uh it fills up um so yeah after it gets up to 50 items it needs to be cleaned out because it'll pick it up out of the water just randomly um, and then they'll stop moving. So basically it's clogged and you have to come and <laughs> clear it out, which is kind of a cool little aspect actually. Um, you get spoiled plants out of it and it's just kind of a neat aspect that you can't just leave this thing go and never have to do any kind of maintenance because it's it'll fill up. And I found this sponge. I've seen them in the game before, I think on like early access or, you know, the first cohort or whatever. Um, but it says it's a herbal ingredient, so I'm just gonna leave it here. I think 
just because I don't know what to do with it right now and I don't know if it spoils I see it collects water so maybe it would have been a good early like drink container or something like that but obviously we didn't need anything like that with our canteen but yeah that's kind of a cool little thing they added it in the game and uh yeah let's go check on our corn let's see if that shit's grown yet I'm excited I really hope it's worth it because honestly it costs a lot I thought I heard something sorry all right look at that it looks all grown up what the hell that's it that's all we're gonna get really seven and i really thought i really thought this was gonna give me a lot more i mean maybe it's just corn but i think the other beds gave me six per i mean yeah i had to do a lot of work and water them and stuff but they still gave me six per which this is a little bit better. I think I saw a nine. But I don't know. I'm not super impressed so far. It is just the iron crop plots. They stayed fertilized. But one thing that is cool is that we don't have to water them. So that takes a lot out of it. But uh, see if the greenhouse is worth it. It can't be the floor that's causing that just 50%. Hmm. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any tips or tricks on these greenhouses, if you built one, if you've been through this stuff before. Uh, if I'm doing anything wrong, I'm pretty sure I built it all right, and I don't think any of that stuff's infecting it, but... This is what I was talking about with the medicine. Uh, just grow it inside. That's one way to use your greenhouse. And let's throw some corn in here too. I want to grow coffee, but my corn is kind of, uh kind of important so we'll just throw what we got left for uh sorry carrots in there and we'll have that one coffee plant so coffee doesn't uh disappear like corn or sorry carrots do but these are so small compared to the other ones and you can fit four in each like floor square if that makes sense which is pretty sweet. Don't know what this alteration means, but. So yeah, it looks like we can get probably about 16 of them in here, which honestly makes it pretty worth it if you're growing the same amount in a smaller space. So maybe that's kind of where they're getting at, but I would like to see at least the growth speed be a little bit quicker. Obviously I didn't time it or test it or anything like that. Um, but maybe Maybe over the long run it is good enough. But there you have it. We built the greenhouse today. She's a beauty. She sure is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, so you can watch more daily videos. We are trying to upload every day. Sometimes life happens and i don't get to, up to upload a video every day maybe i'm every other day or sometimes i'll take the weekend off or something depending on what's going on especially this time of year with the weather and whatnot so um anyways please leave a like if you like the video if you have any comments leave me a em uh, emoji or something in the comments a thumbs up whatever it doesn't matter something every little bit helps so i do appreciate it thanks for staying this long um and thanks for watching the video we'll see you guys in the next one see ya